Okay, here's an example of when we need to move the uh, compressors out of the way. We're going to do some work on the electrical panel today, adding some circuits for a variety of things. First thing we need to do is to remove the coupling so that we can move the Becker out of the way, or one of the two. That's no problem. So all I did was I loosened the clamps holding this flexible splice rubber coupler on. I just slide it over. Beautiful. Okay, actually I'm probably gonna hold that up a bit by using some sophisticated means. Don't want to necessarily stress that joint for no reason. Unnecessary. Okay. All right, so now we'll need to slide that out of the way. I think I've got everything disconnected from it. Yeah, there's nothing hanging on here. I hate moving these things. I don't remember how heavy they are, but they might be 300 pounds. Yeah, it's fine. That's just the tube moving on us. We still held up. Okay, so the contractor's coming, and they'll have to help me move that without me getting the fork truck out, quite frankly. And then the unions have to be opened here, which was always part of the idea. Um, need a big, big wrench for that. I have a box of tools for piping, and I'm not sure if I recall. Yeah, here it is. Right. Take the entire box off. Okay, that union is off. We'll clean those threads before we put it back together because I do. Uh, I definitely seal that union. Um, actually, I have a couple of other things I'm going to need to disassemble at the same time. They are disassembled or disconnected, but I've got some pipes and tubes that need to come off. Actually, are they connected to this? I don't know. Let's unplug the cables while we're here. They're not connected, we're fine. We're actually loose. Yeah, we're ready to roll. Except, I've got some tubes running underneath that wheel, so I'll have to lift it up and over if I can. Oh yeah. Be a good opportunity to get in there and clean as well. We'll have two other tubes to pull out. Okay, so all I'm going to need is help pulling the Becker straight, straight forward, and then we'll roll straight forward and over, and then we're going to roll the compressors out, and that is a perfect example of, you know, of why I put those compressors on that rolling cart. Oh, shoot. Careful. That's why we did that. Okay, awesome. If you've not hit subscribe yet, we would very much appreciate if you did, and hopefully you're enjoying this video. Now, let's get back to it. 
I wanted, I need one of you guys to help me just, all I gotta do is pull it straight forward. It's just, it's just too heavy for me to do it by myself. Let me know. I don't really have nothing on it. Okay, you guys are doing all that. Awesome. That should roll out now. And that's why I made this cart. It works. It does work. It's good. We are good. That's it. Rolled it right out. My one drain tube um, came disconnected, but we will just simply reconnect those. If not, just outright replace them. And now these guys got a clear run right to the panel. And I'm going to turn off 17, 13 through 17. 13 through 17 is off. And I want my spindle, my vacuum, my Beckers off. Compressors, turn them off. Okay. Thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.